Alright, so I know I haven't actually been in front of the camera to make a video lately. I actually feel like total dick right now. But I wanted to try to make something, um, because that's been the promise of this channel. Um, to try to deliver the best content that I can. And um, even though I'm feeling like shit, this video might not be the best thing around. But I wanted to talk about some of the stuff that's been going on lately. It's, uh, even though I'm still feeling like shit, there are other, other things that need to be spoken about. So, as of recently, uh, you guys need to be thankful that Bushy Road, they're, they're being fucking worse than Konami at the moment, alright? Now, I know a lot of you guys don't give any shit about Card Fight Vanguard, Weiss, Future Card Buddy Fight, anything like that, and a lot of you guys can be like, why the fuck are you making a video pertaining to another company on your channel? That's the thing, all right? This video is an important lesson to Yu-Gi-Oh players and those that grew up with Konami because even though Bushi's been around for, what, four years? You know, it took Upper Deck three to four years to get their shit together. So even though I'm going to be slamming Bushi Road, like, just, like, they, they need this, all right? So recently, if you guys know anything about Bushi Road, they have... Three major card games in America. Weiss, Buddy Fight, and Carve Vanguard. They recently released fucking Look and Logic, which I don't know what the fuck went through this company's head. <laughs> they literally said, alright, well, we're going to release the fourth card game. Alright, well, kudos to you for having three card games on the market. I have not seen another company be able to have multiple card games and work for it. But you guys are flooding the fucking market. Cool that shit right now. So Look and Logic, you guys know anything about it? The biggest Facebook group I've seen for it so far is like 1,200 people, and they announced this. They're they're like we're done making it for English after they release set five. Yes, there will be a water a lot of water drinking in this video because my throat is like a fucking vacuum cleaner at the moment. But what the fuck kind of company doesn't promote the game appropriately enough? Has terrible fucking sales because you guys aren't promoting it. You're not giving it fucking events like. You can't expect a fucking game that's been around for three fucking sets to fucking take off. Like, that's not how this fucking works. Like, I'm fucking sick, and I fucking am evidently running, like, I have a better mentality towards company making, like, everything that you should be doing for card games. And you're like, well, you know, like, you guys aren't investing proper money to advertise for the game. And you know what? Now you guys just fucked it up. Now you've shown that you will... Cancel Games in America, which is one of the things that you should have never done. You've indirectly put a stress on your product. Because now the Weiss and Buddy Fight players can be like, well, what if they cancel our games? Like, like what do we do? Like, hell, even at this rate, fucking Vanguard could be canceled. Because, one, you have terrible fucking marketing. Like, I don't understand. Like, of all of the games, like, fucking Luck and Logic was the worst advertised game I've ever seen in my life. It's like you guys didn't want it to succeed. Like, hmm... You know, like, I fucking, I'm, I'm going to take a page from Rudy, Rudy's book here. You know, Alpha Investments. Like, all the fucking guys were sitting around in the boardroom. They're like, <laughs> we're going to make a fourth game and test the waters and see if these retards will buy it. Like, that's exactly what the fuck happened. Like, it's fucking sad. Like, they sold the game on the premises of it will grow. They were like, well, we're, we're stopping support. Don't even get me started on the event scheme for this fucking year. I'm going to slam them in the fucking asshole for that, too, because that was a lot of fucking bullshit. But after they cancel Luck and Logic, they announce a card game, a Dragon Blade. Like, it's only going to be targeted for, uh, what is it, fucking outside of Singapore and Japan? Like, it's going to be an English market game? <laughs> like, why would I want to buy that shit? Probably just gonna cancel that in a year too. Fucking three sets in, you're like, we're done. Like you guys didn't buy it. Like, why? Like why? Like, I I don't fucking understand. Like what the fuck the, the magical Boucher Road fairies are thinking. Like, what what possessed you to not appropriately advertise these things? I get that it's based on anime. You guys probably just fucking ran out of ideas. You're like, well, you know, like we don't have enough time to advertise this, or like the animation cost is too fucking much. Like, just dump the card game. Fuck it. You know, like, Dragon Blade's our real baby now. <sighs> oh, it's so fucking disgusting, man. Like, just to see a fucking company, after a year, just abandon their shit. And they're like, well, you guys can go play the English cards in Japanese. Like, like most of the players don't even fucking care. Like, 
that's why I love Japanese Weiss compared to English Weiss. Like, you just get all the... Like, you... If, if anyone has ever played English Weiss, it fucking sucks. Japanese Weiss is a lot more interesting because you can actually play with, like, triple the pool of what's available. And, honestly, like, Japanese Weiss has always been my guilty addiction. Like, like I love the fact of what you can do in the game. I just don't get to play it very often. And that's a shame because, like... The community is, it's very small, and I want to say it's a lot more niche-friendly because, you know, like, the advantage that Weiss has over, like, any other game, uh, kind of like Vanguard, like, you only have to buy your anime, and, alright, well, once your anime gets to second stage, you can just buy that set, like, you don't have to focus on anything else. Now, if you're going to be a tier 1 player, you're obviously going to be investing in the animes that are better, but that's, that's how it works. It lets them hit the hardcore anime fans, amongst other things. So I enjoy that marketing scheme. Like Japanese Weiss, it's it's been it's been a lot of fun uh, for what it's been. You know, like also to fucking all the other card games or uh, I don't I don't know why like what kind of company just immediately cancels the game and says we're gonna make another one like. What kind of dickbaggery is that? It's like, you're already on the ground. You're already crying because you just got punched in the dick. And now your opponent is punching you in the dick again. Like, insult to fucking injury. Like, don't worry, guys. We'll give you something else to give us, you know, to let you get our money. Like. Uh, and then the whole grand event scheme here. Like. <laughs> They've long since been forgiven for this, but what the fuck kind of company changes the entire location scheme that we've been used to for two to three years, and then says, well, guys, we're going to make it a year-long event. And guess what? We're only going to put Vanguard in the fall for year. Now, like, you should be doubling up on those, but what the fuck kind of shit is that? Like... I don't even... The closest event I had to me before the, the added Vanguard Tendi was fucking Jacksonville, New Jersey, and Texas. What the fuck? Like, did they just fire everyone in the fucking office and just hire new people? They're like, hey guys, we need to change some shit around the office. Like, what kind of great ideas do you have? And then fucking retardo fucking walks in and says, well, I think we need to scrap the whole system. And everyone in Bushiroad's like, that's a really good idea. Like, what the fuck, man? Like... I get you wanted to change things. I get, and I can respect that. But you guys didn't even ask the general opinion. Hell, I don't even fucking see this company engaging with the fucking community. Like, I don't even know where the fuck they get their numbers and shit. Because I don't see them on Facebook gathering information. I don't see them on Pojo. Like, I don't know... Outside of, like, two people in the community that have a semi-direct link into the company. But, like... What? Like, you need to be more adept to your player base. At least Konami. And I, I dog on Konami a lot, but at least Konami has a semi-competent idea of what the fuck the player base wants. Like, sometimes I feel like they don't, but other times they they seem to surprise us. I mean, they're not totally as bad off as Bushiroad is at the moment. Uh, Bushiroad's in the fucking doghouse for a lot of reasons right now. This fucking bullshit with canceling a game. Um, fucking announcing another card game. The event locations this year are shit tier as fuck, even though I have one in my backyard. But I still want my Columbus and I still want my Chicago because I can go to fucking both of them. But now you've dramatically reduced locations. Um, you're having the shop qualifiers, which was a good step forward. But I don't, I don't understand why the fuck you're just not pulling a page from fucking Pokemon. Why the fuck you're afraid to look at, you know, the scheme for fucking you know, Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, a lot of the people that schedule Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh events are the same fucking companies. I don't know if they're, they're afraid to fucking want to hold it out through third-party distributors. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but if a company continues to want to run things themselves without reaching out to independent organizers, then... I, I've said that the game has been on a timer for a little while, but the company seems to still make fucking foolish moves. And still get fucking rewarded for it. I I just don't fucking understand. Like, I've said like enough times in this video that someone's going to make a drinking game out of it. Sorry. Like, 
I, I don't know what to say. Like, it's just, it's been a rough week. Like, the Boucher Road, like, I, I had luck and logic stuff. Like, I'm not angry at the fact that they're discontinuing the game. I think I'm more upset at the fact that, like, it was poorly advertised. Execution and timing was terrible. The fact that they're trying to shove it under the rug for this new shit-tier game that it looks that's just going to sit in calculator cases. End quote from Masao. You know, it's it's all just poor marketing. And, you know, Konami Upper Deck, they adapted very well to the American market. It took them years to realize what the fuck they should be doing. And we're going into the fourth year for Bushiroad. And at the end of this year, it's honestly make or break. Because, you know, like, you can argue that they've been around for so long that nothing can possibly go wrong. But in the grand fucking scheme of things, at the end of the fourth year, if they are still continuing the shaky business, if they're willing to show that they're not going to appropriately be advertising new products, supporting things better than they should be, you know, what the fuck kind of company runs three card games, makes a statement about Vanguard, and says, well, you know, sorry that we're not having Vanguard in your region, but you should check out our other games. Like, no, that's, that's fucking bullshit. Like, you're directly dogging on the players that support the one loyal brand. You're trying to get them into the other brands, which isn't going to happen. For a lot of players, a lot of players cannot physically afford other card games. Um, I, I think it's near impossible for Yu-Gi-Oh! players to want to play other games because just how expensive it is. I mean, I play fucking, you know, Vanguard and Yu-Gi-Oh! at the moment are my two games. I have an okay deck for Modern. I've been playing Affinity for Magic. I haven't got to play Modern in, like, two months because Fridays are just... They're hit or miss for me. And then to top things off, like, Force of Will is already on its deathbed at the moment, as it seems. Like, pretty much everything from the old blocks are just totally fucking worthless. But that's another story for another day. But the the stigma of the company for Vanguard towards... Or just the general stigma in Bushi Road in general towards their player base, like... The perception that they have for general communication. Uh, they they don't involve themselves in the community like they should. They don't make it apparent that they're in the community as they should. It's, it's just disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. And this whole luck and logic thing, you know, like, the community fucking shit on them so hard for their regional locations that they got their shit together and added more, you know, added Vanguard to the appropriate events like they should have. Like, okay, but... You guys, whatever you did, fix it. Like, I get you want to try new things. I can respect that. But you need to be communicating with your player base. I think it's one of the things that pisses me off the most. Is there this omnipotent being in the universe that, like, oversees everything. Or, like, pretends that they oversee everything. But, like, they really don't have any fucking idea because they're not communicating. Hmm, sounds like Konami some days. You know, other times Konami will fucking just shock me to the core. But the thing is, they have the resources. Fucking Konami's had the resources for years. You know, like, they used Pojo for the longest time. You know, I'm sure a lot of the Konami employees watch Facebook. We know they do. I know who's a Konami employee. I know who's out there watching what. You know, like, I don't know all of them, but I know a few of them that take time out of their day to read things. <laughs> Ah, so, I don't know. They're... <sighs> Boucherud, TLDR, get your shit together. I'm sick of this constant fucker fuckery that we're going through. Luck and Logic was a shit show. Uh, you guys didn't advertise it appropriately, but you guys are new. So, guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. I know a lot of you guys are my Yu-Gi-Oh! player base. A lot of you guys aren't going to give two shits about this video. Uh, like this video, guys. Please. I like to do discussions about other card games. I actually enjoyed the death of the Dragon Ball Z video, but it's just me. Alright, guys. Peace the fuck out. I'm gonna go wipe my nose now and cry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.